Disabilities Issues and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living, Abilities in Motion. Disabilities Issues and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living. New day, new beginning. I am Teresa Faulkner, your host. Welcome to Disabilities Issues and Updates. Abilities in Motion is located at 210 North 5th Street in Reading, Pennsylvania. Our contact number is 610-376-0010. My direct extension is 108. Please feel free to contact me by phone or by email. We sure would like to hear from our viewers if you have any uh, issues or if you have any programming that you would like to see, please don't hesitate to give us a call. It's a pleasure today to have a guest. My guest today is Juliana Bove. Welcome, Juliana. It's so good to have you on our show this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Sure, sure. And our topic today is Good Neighbors Time Banking. But first of all, we want to know a little bit about yourself. Tell us about yourself, Juliana. Uh, I'm 20 years old. Um, I go to Westchester University. Um, I'm studying communications and media with a minor in journalism. Uh, when I'm not at school or working, I love to paint, spend time outside, uh, spend time with friends, and uh, just have a good time, really. So what's your favorite seasons? Um, I really love summer just because I get to go outside and go to the beach. And, wonderful. And I really enjoy that. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's start to talk to our viewers about what is time banking and how do I become involved? <laughs> So time banking is um, a way for the community to get together in a membership-based way. Okay. Um, they get together and they share their talents and their goods with each other. Okay. Um, it's a way for people to get the things that they need without having to pay money for it. Uh, so, for example, I could help you if you are a member for two hours with, say, gardening. Okay. Um, and then I would get two time credits. Um, and that's just a way for us to count um, how much you volunteered with the time bank. Um, if you build up enough credit, you're able to go and get the things that you need uh, from other members. So okay. if I helped you and I have some credit, I'm able to go and get transportation from somebody or maybe art lessons, something like that. Oh, wonderful. Mission statements tell us a lot about an organization. Explain yours and what drew you to be a part of this vision. Uh, so our mission statement goes like this. The Good Neighbors Time Bank is committed to strengthening the fabric of our communities by celebrating our gifts and honoring how those gifts can help others. We are committed to serving all of our neighbors, especially those who experience disabilities, poverty, homelessness, or illness. Mm -hmm. um, I really think this is important um, because it shows that no matter who you are, no matter uh, what type of walk of life you're coming from or what kind of ability that you have, uh, you're able to come to the Good Neighbors Time Bank and feel like you have something to offer and really just become a part of a community that um, appreciates you and your talents. It's almost like the pay it forward, uh, like if, to pay it forward just to give back, to give back to people in the world that we live in. It's very important to pay it forward. It's very important to share and to help one another. I think sometimes in our world that's going away. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I definitely agree with you. Um, mm -hmm. That pay it forward aspect um, is what we we really like strive on because you know a lot of people may not have the money to do the things that they really want to do, mm -hmm. and they may not have the you know the ways to to share their talents if you're not part of part of a community or a college or something like that, you may not have uh, an outlet to share the things that you really want to share. And so this is a way for everybody to come together and, and, and be able to experience all of these things mm -hmm. and, and experience others um, wholeheartedly. I want to ask you a question, Juliana. As you know, our viewers, our, pro our programming is disabilities, issues, and updates. Let's just take it for instance. I am a person who has a disability. Um, you might see it, you may not see it. I don't know if I really can do this. Can you encourage me to be a part of the, the time banking? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we encourage absolutely everybody to be part of time banking. Mm -hmm. um, 
And we really stress that no matter what your ability is, you have a way to contribute. And the community has a way to give back to you as well. Um, so we really encourage that even if you feel right now that you, you don't have anything to offer, we absolutely tell you that you do have something to offer. Everybody mm -hmm. has something to offer, and everybody can get something from the community as well. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I also understand that Time Banking has core services. What are they? Um, our core um, values mm -hmm. are that everybody has gifts, um, and everybody should be able to share those gifts and, and have everybody experience them. Um, we're stronger together than we are alone. Um, and, and I think I like that, that, yeah, that's, that that's so important. That it really does. Mm -hmm. um, we strive to make a safe environment for all of our members um, to feel comfortable making exchanges. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's culture, beliefs, and perspectives will be honored throughout their time banking experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we really believe in the power of belonging and including everybody. Everybody, no matter what. No matter what. Mm. What if I have a physical disability and I have accessibility issues? Is that a problem? No, it's not. Um, you're able to just make ex um, exchanges that you feel comfortable with. Okay. So if you're not able to do a certain exchange, then you don't have to. You can just do um, things that you're able to do and things that you feel comfortable doing. Mm. Let's discuss time banking basics. Okay, so um, the first thing that I usually mention with time banking basics is that no matter what you're doing, mm -hmm. whether it be a very hard task or a simple task. Give me an example, um, hard task. Hard task, uh, helping somebody with their taxes for oh, instance. Okay. So if okay. you're somebody that can help another person with their taxes, I would consider that maybe a harder task. Sure, sure. Um, or a simple task can be just um, you know doing something fun, taking somebody to the movies or out to dinner or something like that because mm -hmm. we do companionship as well. Okay. Um, so you, we have a whole wide range of different exchanges that you can make. Mm -hmm. No matter what the exchange is, um, one hour of your time is equal to one time credit. Okay. Um, and we think that's very important in time banking because that doesn't happen in the real world. Um, in the real world, if, if you are a lawyer, you're going to be making a lot more money per hour mm -hmm. that you would if you were, say, a janitor. Sure. Um, but in time banking, everybody is equal no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. um, and so one hour of time is equal to one time credit, and, and that is across the board no matter what you're doing. And mm -hmm. that really just kind of um, levels the playing field so that everybody can um, be doing time banking and see that they have value no matter what they're doing and that uh, you know everybody is equal and that we really stress that part of time banking as mm -hmm. well. So we've talked about time banking and exchanges. What age groups? Is it a variety of ages? And is there a process to do? Um, is there an application process as far as time banking is concerned? Right. So um, we encourage people of all ages to join, um, no matter if that be elderly or youth um, and everybody in between. Um, we do ask that if you're you know, a very young person that you may join with a parent or your family, and you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's just so that you know, everybody feels that they are, are able to make exchanges with each other. Sure, <clears throat> sure. Um, and there is a process to becoming a member. And that process is that you come to an introduction. Okay, and, and how long does that normally take? Our introductions usually last an hour. Okay. Um, and we go through all the time banking basics. I walk you through our website um, and show you how to make exchanges, mm -hmm. how to fill out your profile, and all of that. So you have to do a profile. There's um, a profile that's involved in it? There is a profile. Okay. Um, you can fill out as much as you want or as little as you like. Okay. Um, we encourage our members to post a picture, oh. um, say what they're willing to offer others, and, and things like that. It's really simple. It takes about maybe 10 minutes to fill out. Okay. Um, and again, it, it's up to you how much you'd like to fill out or how much you'd like to disclose as well. Now, I'm just going to let you know, I am not uh, tech savvy at all. So can you help me? Absolutely. Really? I don't have to be concerned with that? No, you oh, do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so whether you have access to the internet or you don't, or okay. you just don't feel comfortable doing that, mm -hmm. um, as the time bank coordinator, you okay. can reach out to me and I can help you fill that out. Um, I can either do it and you just tell me what to fill out or okay. I can work with you to do it as okay. well. Okay, okay. So you fill out the profile. You said that's about an hour meeting. Then what's next? Um, after that, we do have a membership fee. Okay. Um, so for the entire year, it's only $25. Oh, okay. But 
if you feel like you don't want to pay that or you can't pay that, um, no questions asked. You can do two hours of volunteer work to the time bank instead of paying that twenty-five dollars. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So you know we do that because we really want you know everybody to be able to participate, and we don't want money to really hold anybody back. Mm -hmm. And so there's a way to join whether or not you can afford the twenty-five dollars. No questions asked. Really wonderful. Well, let's talk a little bit about stats because some of our viewers like to know the numbers. So time banking, can you give us some numbers of some that some of the programs that are active? and what their numbers look like. Yeah, so in our time bank, we have about 30 members right now, and we're working to build that up to hopefully over 400 members. Beautiful. That's our, our end goal, and, and we really are pushing towards that. Mm -hmm. um, we have over 60 hours of exchanges made um, just with 30 members, so you can see how easily it is to, to, to build up those hours mm -hmm. um, and, and how people are, are already participating in that. Yeah. Um, if you look at, because we're only in our first year. Okay. okay. If you look at a more established time bank, mm -hmm. um, there's one in Phoenixville um, that has really helped us get um, going. Okay. And they have over 300 members and wow. thousands of hours exchanged. Wow, so beautiful. So it, it really is awesome. So it, where you join a time bank determines where you'll be at. Like, where, what, what area are you in? And if I was interested, what counties or do you offer this particular time banking to? Right. So we are um, a multi-county time bank. Okay. Um, and we did that because we want as many people to be able to participate in time banking as possible. Mm -hmm. So we are in Berks, Bucks, Chester, uh, Montgomery counties. Wow, that's a, a, a wide span. Yes, yes, yes. very wide span. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, huge time bank. And um, again, we encourage that so that anybody can join mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have access to that. Because, you know, you can have time banks that have so many people, but, you know, some, some areas don't have time banks at all. And we mm -hmm. wanted to really bring that to areas that didn't have it mm -hmm. so that they'd have access to this. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that a lot of uh, companies partner. Do you partner with anyone as far as this time banking is concerned? Yes, we do. So okay. we have a lot of partners who have helped us. Okay. Um, but our main um, host is um, KenCrest. Okay. So KenCrest is a day program for people who experience disabilities. Mm. Um, and they're very established. They've been around for countless years. Mm -hmm. um, and they have been so, so helpful in getting us started. Um, and they've they've been really really helpful. So they've helped us through the first two years of our grant. Okay. Um, and you know we're we're very thankful to them. I don't mean to to uh, put you on a, on the spot, but can you give me like maybe two success stories from Cress from from the partner where they were they joined what they did and how they're doing now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we had a member join. Her name is You Eden. have to give names if you like. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. I don't, if, yeah, if you don't want to, it's fine. Okay. First names are it does, fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, okay. Um, so we had somebody join, and she really wanted to get out into the community and start okay. doing things. Um, and so she was able to come to one of our potlucks. Um, okay. And so we... That, that's one thing that we do. Um, we usually have once a month, we'll have a potluck or some kind of fun gathering. Okay, okay. So that members can meet each other. Wonderful. Um, and that was a really big deal for her to be able to come out into the community and meet new people. And that's just, you can see how time banking can just help with those first steps in getting people comfortable out in the community. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that was a huge success for her. So what was her age? Um, she was about 60 years old. Okay, okay. Um, and we have another younger person okay. who has joined um, the Time Bank, and they've been so happy to be able to join. Um, they've helped us with um, food drives and volunteer socials as well. Um, so those are t two people that come to mind for okay. me. Okay, so I know our viewers are thinking, well, what was that a younger person's age? Because I'm young, and is it going <laughs> to work for me? Let's. Talk. What was the age? Um, 20s. Oh, okay, 20s. okay. Do you have any younger than that? And what if there are younger people who want to be a part of it? Is there a certain age group, or do you have to have parental um, uh, consent? How does that work? Right, so anybody can join, no matter what your no, age. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but we do ask if you're probably younger than 16, mm -hmm. you would join with a parent. Um, there's no uh, official forms that you need to fill out or anything. Okay. Um, but we, we just ask that if you are younger and not able to make exchanges by yourself, that you would have a parent join with you. Join with you and join in the program. Yes. Wonderful. Now, are there families involved in it? 
Are there are there yes. families, whole families? Yes. How does that work? So there's different types of memberships that you can have. Um, the first membership is an individual membership. Okay. Um, and that's just for you. Um, or we have a family membership, and that membership is up to four people in your family can all join and make exchanges, and they would earn time credit for the family as a whole. Okay, okay, good, wonderful. Let's talk a little more about some of the exchanges that take place. I know we talked about the potluck, we've talked about the food drive. Let's, let's put some other ideals out there for our viewers to kind of think about. Right, so... Um, gardening we talked yes, about. Yes, gardening, gardening, gardening okay. for sure. Um, again, time banking is really, uh, you can make it as creative as you want it to be. So we have a huge wide range of exchanges offered in our time bank. So we have things like hair braiding, um, oh, art, wow. art classes and okay. art lessons. Um, we have fresh baked bread offered um, and okay. meals. Mm -hmm. Transportation is a big one mm -hmm. um, because we always have people in need of transportation. Okay. So um, especially around here where there's not necessarily a lot of public transportation. Right. Florida um, doesn't extend out until you know, exactly. a lot of different counties got gotcha. you. Yeah, so if you, you live kind of in more rural area, um, transportation can be a really big exchange. Now when you say transportation, transportation to where? Will you take me to the grocery store? Will you take me to visit my family? Transportation, what does that mean? Well, it's really up to the time bankers to decide that. Okay. Um, so we have somebody that's offering designated driving, and that would just be for the night in, in the town that she lives in. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there's other kinds of exchanges that you can make that are related to transportation. That okay. would be up to the individuals to decide. So if somebody mm -hmm. wants to just do close exchanges and just drive 10 minutes, or they can go far. Or they can go far if they would like wow. to offer that. Oh, wow. Wonderful. And other exchanges. So we talked about transportation, gardening. Gardening is a good one. This is the season. Yeah. This is the time. So we talked about food bank, mm -hmm. um, transportation, baking, food. Any other? Um, we have ones that are... Um, let me think. Okay. Did I say art? I said no, art lessons. Art. Well, let's talk about art. What, what do you mean art? What does that, is it painting or what, what is that? Yeah. So or any type of crafts, um, arts and crafts. It depends. Okay. Um, so the person that is in our time bank offering it, she's offering um, drawing classes. Okay. So if you're interested in learning how to draw, you can come to one of her classes. Um, okay. She also um, is doing individual ones. So if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one class as well. Oh. Or a group class, you can do either one of those. Must you be a good artist? I'm not. Yeah. I make stick people. Does it work? Well, yeah, well, it doesn't matter your experience with art lessons. You're able to just come and she'll work with you on that as well. Mm -hmm. I liked uh, one uh, suggestion that you made about hair. Yeah. As you can tell, I, I like hair. Tell me what, what, what that looks like, that program or that, that particular exchange. Right. So the person that's offering hair braiding, um, she really just loves to do that so much. Okay. Um, and so you just reach out to her and ask her if you have an event coming up or you just want to get dolled up for the day. Mm -hmm. um, you can just ask her to do your hair um, and you guys can either meet at her house or halfway point in you know the public somewhere and she'll be able to help you with that. Okay. One thing I think that I was thinking about also is, uh, do you have to do criminal background? How does that work? Does, I'm almost sure, just based on the fact that you're going to be in close uh, range of persons, is that necessary in the application process? No, it, it actually is not. Is not. Oh. Um, so there's a couple reasons why we do this. Um, okay. We want everybody to be able to join, um, and we don't require any background check or criminal, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, if you uh, don't want to have somebody you work with that doesn't have their background check, then you don't have to work with anybody that you don't want to work with. Okay. So it's at your discretion who you work with. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few people in the time bank who have in their profiles that they say that they're fingerprinted and background checked. Yes. So you can work with only those people or you can work with everybody. Okay. But the time bank itself does not require that. Mm -hmm. um, and we always say that, we, we did that on purpose. Okay. Um, and as an example, we always say that if you're asking your neighbor 
to you know dog sit for the day, you wouldn't ask them to get a background check because they're your neighbor. Oh, okay. And so that's kind of the culture that we're trying to build is a culture of people who really trust each other and can build that relationship without having, you know, background checks or anything. It's just, you know, getting to know each other one on one. Mm -hmm. And that's another reason why we have our time banks and our socials and coffee socials, things like that. Okay. Is so that you can really build a relationship with somebody prior to making exchanges so mm -hmm. that you feel comfortable with them enough to say, hey, I, I know this person. I know okay. that I feel mm -hmm. safe with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know that there are many persons, groups in the community, schools, social groups that want to like do more. They want to pay back. They want to, they want to help the community. How can they get involved? Right. So anybody can join the Time Bank again. Okay, as you said. Um, mm -hmm. And if you if you join the Time Bank as a member, you can either give a lot or you can take a lot because it's not real money. You're able to, you know, have a lot of time built up or you're able to kind of go into the negative numbers depending on what you need. Mm -hmm. um, and we say that if you are somebody that doesn't need a lot from the Time Bank okay, and you're building up a lot of hours volunteering and helping others, that you can kind of give that time back to the Time Bank. So we have a community fund um, oh, okay. and that community fund can um, be used for people that um, don't have a lot of time built up. Okay. So if you're somebody that really wants to volunteer, build their time up, um, build those hours up, you can give it back to the time bank mm -hmm. um, as a way of kind of volunteering with us. And the time bank works all times of year, all during the year, no yes. set time, not some, all the time. All the time. I liked what you said about the dog sitting there. A lot of persons who really like that. What about walking the dog? Yeah, yeah, Wonderful. dog walking as well, um, pet sitting, we have a, um, people offering that I think right now mm -hmm. um, and you can make exchanges as you mentioned like for the yearly part you can make exchanges for just part of the year if you want to uh -huh. do it for only a month and then change what you're offering you're able to do that as well. I have a question. How does your garden grow? So what type of things are they growing in the garden? Well, we don't have a time bank garden gotcha. for just us but uh -huh. we have people who have personal gardens and um, really need help, you know, turning it over for the springtime or, or um, harvesting during the summertime. And they'll ask for people to come over and help them with that. Wonderful. Well, you have definitely shared a lot of information, but we forgot to let them know who they need to contact if they want more information or even if they want to join. So look in the camera and let them know where they <laughs> need to contact us. <laughs> um, you can contact me as um, the time bank coordinator. So if you need help along the way at all, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. um, you can visit our website at www.timebanks.org, which is um, just general time banking. Or you can go to our personal Good Neighbors Time Bank, which is www.goodneighborstb.timebanks.org. And that will take you directly to our site. Mm -hmm. um, you can visit us on Facebook. Or you can reach out to me personally at 717-875-6064. And I can help you for anything that you need um, related to time banking. I'm here for every step of the way. Juliana Bove, I want to thank you for sharing about Good Neighbors Time Banking. A lot of information. I'm sure you'll be getting calls. Thank you for joining us on our show. Thank you so Appreciate much for having it. me. To our viewers, as we begin to close, we just want to make you aware Abilities in Motion will be having their 30th gala October the 9th from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Doubletree in Reading. Now, we are in the month of April. You have plenty of time to prepare and get your special garb ready for the event. So mark your calendar for October the 9th is Abilities in Motion's 30th Gala. If you would like to have more information concerning sponsorship or buying tickets or just information concerning the gala, please give us a call. Remember, you can reach me at 610-376-0010. My direct extension is 108. To all our viewers, enjoy your day. New day, new beginnings.
Disabilities, Issues, and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living.